What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and in this video I'm going to be comparing the specs of the iPad mini 2 which is the iPad mini with the retina display to the iPad Air, the iPad 5th generation, the full size iPad 5th generation. Now both of these devices have just been announced today and they're boasting some very very nice specs. But what are the key differences between these two devices? Well do hit that thumbs up button and let's find out in this head to head spec comparison. So initially we'll start off with the most obvious difference between these two which is the size. The iPad Air is quite a bit larger compared to the iPad mini 2, 40 millimeters in terms of height, roughly about 35 millimeters in terms of width. The same thickness so 7.5 millimeters of thickness in both of these which is very very thin for a tablet. In terms of the size if we look at the iPad mini this is the original iPad mini you can see that it does fit comfortably in one hand that's not going to be the case with the iPad Air. The iPad mini also weighs quite a bit less 138 grams less compared to the iPad Air so definitely more compact but that is because it has a smaller screen a 7.9 inch screen versus a 9.7 inch screen on the iPad Air so you've got so much more real estate on the iPad Air at the expense of the larger size. So if you are somebody who likes having that larger screen for watching videos and browsing the web, then the iPad Air is a definitely a better option here. Now in terms of resolution, you've got the same resolution on a, both of these devices, 2048 by 1536. So you've got Retina display on a, both of these devices here. The apps are gonna be working consistently because of that same resolution. You've got a difference in PPI, 264 PPI on the iPad Air versus the iPad Mini 2 which has 326 PPI, an absolutely insane PPI on here and that's because you've got the same amount of pixels but in a smaller space so you've got more pixels per range, the highest PPI I believe on any tablet out there at the moment. The new Nexus 7 has 323 PPI so it even beats that very very high pixel density here. Now generally speaking you're not going to be noticing a huge deal of difference because the iPad Air is larger, it's, you're probably going to be holding it a little bit further away from you compared to the iPad mini 2. So not a huge deal of difference but the iPad mini 2 does have that amazing resolution, 326 PPI is great for a tablet. Now with lots of the other things with these devices in terms of the internals they are practically the same so you've got the same process you've got 1.3 gigahertz dual core a7 chip which is a 64-bit chip now this is absolutely awesome I mean the iPhone 5s has this chip and it's been smashing benchmarks out there so you've got the same chip on both of these devices here you also have the M7 motion coprocessor on both of these devices which is going to be tracking motion data and on top of that you've got one gigabytes of RAM on both of these as well so the same RAM same versions available 16 32 64 and also 128 gigabyte version so a very large storage version again on both of these and they are also both available in the Wi-Fi and cellular versions. 5 megapixel rear facing cameras capable of filming 1080p HD and the front facing cameras 1.2 megapixels capable of filming 720p HD. So again the same here. You've got iOS 7.1, the latest version of iOS. You're going to be getting the latest updates directly from Apple as well. You're not going to have to wait around. So they are going to be coming directly to the devices. A big advantage. Both of these also have a MIMO Wi-Fi technology. So now this is a new update. This is supposed to be giving you much faster Wi-Fi speeds because it's got dual antennas on both of these so again the same here both claiming the same battery usage as well uh, 10 hours of continuous usage on this up to 10 hours but once again practically the same on both of these devices now one big difference that you do have is the price the iPad mini 2 it does come in cheaper you can pick it up for 319 pounds here in the UK or 399 dollars this is for the base 16 gigabyte version it's going to be available uh, from uh, mid November time now the iPad Air does come in a slightly more expensive so 399 pounds in the UK or $499 in the US uh, so about $100 of difference between the base 16 gigabyte versions to give you an idea of the difference in pricing so those were the key differences between these two devices the iPad mini 2 is practically a smaller version of uh, the iPad Air, the full size version. Unlike the last iPad mini, which had quite a bit of cut down in specs, you've got practically the same specs inside. You've got the same processor and everything internal is practically the same on the iPad mini 2, which is great to see. And you're also gonna be paying a slightly less because of that smaller size. So I think it really comes down to two things, uh, the price and the size. Do you want a larger tablet? Do you want that browsing experience? Or do you want something a little bit more compact to carry around 
in places and things and also the price uh, do you want to be paying a little bit less for the iPad mini 2 compared to the full size iPad Air what do you think which one would you be going for do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did as always please do hit that thumbs up button for me it really does help me out and why not subscribe to the channel I've got plenty more content coming up on here thanks for watching this is Saf on Super Saf TV and I'll see you next time. If you want to see more regular videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, which will be below. If you're on a mobile device, it may be somewhere else. If you want to see my previous related video, then hit the link right here. If you want to stay in touch over Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, then all of the addresses will be there somewhere, as well as direct links in the description below.